guys, so today I'm doing an overview and swatches of the NYX Rouge Cream Blushes. I currently own five of these. I'm going to go over the colors that I own first, I'm going to tell you what I think about them, my first impressions, how they've worn, and then I'm going to move into swatches. I'm going to start with the color that I'm wearing today, this is Red Cheeks, and this is highly pigmented. In fact, all of these are highly pigmented. Some are going to be a little scarier than others due to how bright they are. This is the brightest of the bunch. Um, but as you can see, it can be sheared out quite easily. Uh, I do want to do swatches right right here and now, and basically I'm not going to swipe my finger, I just want to touch it and show you so you can see exactly how much pigmentation is really there. So I'm just going to touch it, not going to be swiping, and just show you. Look how bright that is. That is basically like swatching a bright red lipstick. It's super pigmented. Now, even though it is so pigmented, even fair skin can get away with this because it's so easy to sheer out. Uh, so any skin tone can shear this out. It's just in how you apply it. And personally for cream blush, I found the easiest way, especially with bright colors, is to start right towards the hairline here. So at the back of the cheekbone and then sweep forward lightly. And basically, even if you get too much on there, these products are easy to um, you know, buff away, buff out. Something else about this particular color, why I like it so much, is because I feel like it gives you that sort of porcelain doll look and that's like, that's always been like a sought after look for me. I just, I love it. And especially on fair skin, I think this would be so pretty. But like I said, it's so pigmented, it can cover the whole range from super fair pale skin to, you know, dark deep skin tones. So I think Red Cheeks is a great color to try out if you're not afraid of, you know, how it looks in the pan. The next color I have here is Hot Pink, and true to its name, this is a true hot pink. Now, I noticed in the pictures, um, some of my pictures, it does kind of come off as a cool tone pink, but really, it, I don't think it's cool tone. It's just, it's a true hot pink, I would say. Even on camera right now, it's kind of looking a little, uh, it's looking a little cool on camera too. But I'll always do my best to explain the colors to you as well to give you the best idea of what you're looking at. So true hot pink here, I'm gonna go ahead and just press my finger onto it so you can get an idea of the pigmentation. So that is a beautiful color. Definitely recommend this one if you like pink blush. The next one I have here is orange. And I would actually almost go as far as to say that this could have been named melon um, because there is a bit of softness to it. It's not like a bright, you know, ultra bright construction type orange color. It is a little bit subdued, a little bit softer, and it can come off as a really nice sort of peachy orange blush. So if you like warm blushes, definitely check out orange. Next is Tea Rose, and this is the neutral of the bunch. So it does have a hint of warmth to it. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you. So you can see it's just kind of a kind of a warm beige neutral blush. So if you like kind of softened, almost like sun-kissed beigey looks, then this would be a great one to go for. Next I have natural, and I would describe this as a kind of a neutral baby pink. So it isn't like it isn't natural in the way of beige like tea rose where it's kind of a sun-kissed beige. It has a, definitely more of that baby pink tone to it, but it can still come off as a really pretty flush, especially on fair skins. I think this would be gorgeous. So NYX describes our rouge cream blushes as a sheer wash of radiant color. Absolutely, I agree with that 100%. The payoff is dewy, sultry, long-lasting. It is dewy. Um, basically, when I put these on without any other blush over it, it gives you just a nice, natural, it just kind of looks like your skin. You know how cream products do. It doesn't look oily, it just looks like skin. Um, now, the other thing I would say, if you do want, like regarding wear time, these wear about six hours on me. That's on my skin. Um, it does vary person to person, depending on your skin type, if it's going to wear off faster or, you know, be longer lasting, of course. So that is something to consider, but I'd say six hours for me for a cream blush is pretty good. So I'm happy with the wear time. And yeah, so basically that means if I put my blush on at nine in the morning, it lasts till about three in the afternoon on me. So I'm pretty happy with that. 
Um, the other thing is that is by itself. If you want it to last longer, you can always apply another blush over it, use this as a base and apply, you know, a similar color over the top. And then I'm sure it would probably last, you know, maybe even a full day uh, into the night, who knows. So that's my overview of the NYX Rouge Cream Blushes. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.